almost died. Almost took myself out. Oh. <laughs> Last one. And we're putting this back together. My vision is really bad, so I can't really read your comments, so give me a moment. <sighs> right before you got in here, I almost tripped to death. <sighs> I was in a good mood until Ray came back. <laughs> like, he's been driving me crazy. But we're fine. <sighs> Got a couple days before his spring break, and Bruce has agreed to take him. Thank God. Because I might go out of town. I might go out of town. I need a break. This bed frame is a platform twin bed. It came in the mail today. It looks kind of small, but I'm sure it'll work out. Pretty easy to put together. It's just taking me longer than usual. Uh, I was watching the Mario movie earlier. Okay, we're done. Oh. Huh. So his bed, I got a plastic bed cover, a fitted sheet, a flat, and then this is his Mario fitted sheet. This is a 12 inch mattress, it's brand new. I got the mattress first, then I got the bedding, and then the, the uh, bed frame came today, so I just put it together. And it's just awkward to move around. It's not heavy. It's awkward. I need a sweep behind his bed. Before I'm all the way done, I put this together on my own, like usual. Honestly, most of the furniture I get, I put together on my own. Even the big IKEA stuff, I will never pay to have furniture put together. As long as I can read, there's no reason. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, this is it. Um, I think sometime in the future I might give him a bigger mattress, but hold on. Okay, go look in your bed. Go look at your bed. Okay. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. Don't get on it yet. Go, go, please. For mommy's brain. Oh. All right, Ray, come here. Look at me. You don't jump on this. This is not a jumping bed. Okay. It will break like your other bed. Thank you. Go play. for a while.
and stuff back here. I wonder if I should get like a skirt, but I don't know. Hmm. All right, let me show you. All right, so here's his bed. This is a espresso color. It's all wood finished platform. And then this is the rest of his room. Mario theme, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and make his bed again. Hi, how are you? The nice thing about this is it slides pretty easy. I could even put it like lengthwise, but I don't know. What do you think? Should I put it against the wall, the headrest? It's a nice bed. Pretty low to the ground, but that's fine. And then his comforter is reversible. I could even put it diagonally. Here's his comforter. And it's reversible, so this is the other side. Oh, we're going to put it on the Mario side for now. My aunt sent my mom another bedding set for him, so he's got this one and then one at my mom's house. That will eventually get. That's cute. That's real cute. Oh, yeah. Hey! <laughs> I love it. He already got the comforter a little messy because he's got a popcorn problem, but... <laughs> Hey, Ray, come look. Again. This is reversible, too. It looks comfy. You like? Uh -huh. I gotta get you a fluffier pillow, but there you 
warm boy. Okay. Yeah, well, Raymond, his popcorn problem is more, he likes to lick the bag. Okay, here's his bed. I gotta get a fluffier pillow. There you go. He went from a toddler bed to a twin. Oh my God, it fills his room really nice. And here's the rest of his space. We're gonna break these down eventually and like rearrange. But yeah, there it is. So when you first walk in, that's what you see. That's cute. I'll be right back. I gotta take some pictures for my mom. Show you his bed. You ready? Ready, go. This is Ray's new bed. He graduated from a toddler bed to a big boy bed. So now he has a big boy bed. This is pretty solid. It's a platform bed. It's pretty short. And then this is a six inch mattress, but you know, it's better than nothing. I got to get him a new fluffy pillow. I'm going to get him a couple pillows. I honestly wish it were a day bed with a, um, with this part. Like I wish there, I mean, I probably could buy something like that. But then I could like put pillows up against the wall and he could like chill over here. But I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think of Raymond's setup? His new bed. It's a big boy bed. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's got his dolls. Wait, where's that little, this one? This one fits the theme more than anything because it's a Super Mario character. There we go. He's right there, actually. <laughs> it's so cute. And then his wall decor. Raymond's got the hookup, y'all. I did my little big thing. This is from his fifth birthday. He's got his gaming board back here. So, Raymond's got the setup, okay? My baby, good. Got him his little cute kitty room. Little boy. I'm so proud of myself as a mom. Like, got his room together. Fine. Raymond, come on. Get in bed then. It's time for bed. Come on. I did all that work and you're acting like an a hole. Golly. No, you are. You're stressing me out. Please be good. Please. Get under the cover. Boy, Lord. Get, go, in the bed. Get in there. Tuck yourself in. You just want to be mean to me. No, I don't. I really don't want to be mean to you, Raymond. I want you yes, to go to bed. Do. Be a good boy for Mama, please. I love you. I'm being so good and being mean. I don't know. I don't know about that, but. <laughs> oh, Lord. I was trying to get him to talk to my mom. Come on, kitty. Oh my god, there's another cat in there. Holy shit. Who are you? You gonna let him be in your bed? Get out of her bed. Okay, come on, kitty. Come on, baby. It's a full moon tonight. There's no wind.
You can see the stars really well. That's Orion's belt. I can't see it in person, but I can see it on my phone better. I've got to clean. My house is a mess right now because I've been kind of like waiting. I have one more package I need and then I can like go and go. Fuck! I can get my life together. I love you, Ray. Good night. Ray, okay. don't put stuff on the floor. Look, look, you can hang it here, mm -hmm. okay? Give me your switch. I don't have it. Get up. I don't have it. Oh, give, give me the switch. I don't see it. Well, you don't. Well, I Stop lying. Are you lying? I got you on I'm camera not. lying. I'm not. I'm not. Raymond. Okay, go outside. <laughs> you sleep outside. <laughs> give me the. Don't do that. Because you're bad and you lie. How do you always know? Because I'm your mama. <laughs> Good night, Ray. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does. Oh, this popsicle's cut open. And I've been spilling it all over the floor. Great. Okay. It's weird. It's not even, like, cold. <sighs> yeah, all my house is a fucking mess right now. So I picked some dandelions. I'm going to turn them into a tea. These are from last year. These are dandelion leaves and root. I collect every year and use it as medicine. I dry it out. I don't dry out the flower, but I dry out the leaves and the root. I'm making a new fruit. Can you go under your bed and get your other slipper for me? I don't see it. Hey. I'm just trying to make my new fruit. Well, I'll do it. Wow, I can. You can't get under there. Yes, I can. Oh, okay. I guess you can. But not all the way. You'll get stuck, okay? Yep. Where's the but other slipper? Still, I would be able to get Okay, it. get the slipper. That was the whole point you're down there. I'm drawing. Thank you. Okay. Your toy fell off. So you do like your new bed? Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll get you a different frame one day. I don't know. Yeah, I think you can keep this. Do you see now how we couldn't fit a bunk bed, though? Yeah. But we can get another mattress and make a trundle. So you can pull yeah, it out. It's, it's... No, no, no. Listen. Hello. You can pull it out under here. I made my new fruit. Never mind. Right? I'm going to eat it. I think I'm going to get him a carpet, but I'm not sure. Do you guys think I should get a little carpet for him? Yeah. Gatling punch. There's no plug in this corner, but if there were, I put the TV over there. I need to get a curtain for his closet. I don't like it wide open like that. We'll work on all that tomorrow after school. I still have not found anyone to buy this, but eventually we'll get there. Wow. I really should make him brush his teeth before bed. I gotta get rid of this mattress and this bed frame.
So yeah, the only thing I need now is uh, my next thing coming in the mail. My Timu order. I ordered from Timu. When that comes in, I'll do an unboxing and show you guys everything. Well, thank you. I appreciate I got that. The Trying my best. I got the and the glue. Raymond's just very energetic when he comes back from his dad. So I'm like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, Jill, please. He thinks I'm being mean, but I'm like, it was quiet when you were gone, baby. Mommy forgot all that energy you had. I love it. I really do. It takes me like, I always have to. My voice doesn't match. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Stupid. People are ignorant. Some water. Oh. I think I'm gonna start buying myself some newer pajama sets too. You just ordered a couple things off Timo. Timo, cool. What'd you end up getting? I got a big ass sweatshirt because I really want like a hoodie. A big, big hoodie. Um, I got body shapers for your thighs and tummy and arms. I got juice bottles for when I juice. I got, or even if I make smoothies. I got um, I got um, something for a remote, for a Roku remote. Hi, I'm doing well. What else did I get? A, uh, I got a, um, I think that's it. Something else. I can't, wow, what I got. Oh, slippers. Yep, okay, so I got slippers, a Roku remote wrap that's like glows in the dark and has like a hook on it, uh, body shapers for arms, tummy, and legs. It's basically a waist trainer, but extra. And um, the sweatshirt and the bottles for juice. And there's other stuff I keep finding. Like, that's the thing. I keep finding cool little things that I want. And I don't wait until I have more. You got a solar-powered emergency radio? That's a good thing. I, I thought about getting one of those. I might get it. Um way the world is you just never know you've got to be prepared for anything and everything <laughs> you got four of them do they work well do they do more than just radio like can you like do other things with them i like multi-purpose um gadgets i really do oh I didn't order it yet, but I put in my cart, like, an emergency bracelet. Like, it's a clip that says diabetic and another one that says allergy. When you order off TV, how long does it take? Oh, for fucking ever. <laughs> you have to, like, everything on Timu comes from China. <laughs> so, they have to go through customs and everything. Um, The nice thing is they, like, box everything together. Like, they fucking squeeze it all together so you're not getting like different pieces like so I would recommend if you want it to take you want to get everything at the same time and not have like like add things to your cart that you know you want and I would go up to $50 minimum 
oh my god you built your whole house with um solar power see that's the dream right there get off grid that's where it's at we all need to be off grid i would kill for that in an apartment <laughs> but i want to take it with me because i hate this apartment i really do i need to look for a new apartment i am tired of living here I want to buy some land. I want to um, buy land and never have to pay a bill again. I'll still work, but... Whew, I didn't realize how tired I was after putting that together. It really wasn't that hard, like... Honestly, it was one of the easiest pieces I've put together. Like, when I got the bed I'm on now, I had the mattress first. Then I ordered the bed frame. And it took me forever to get the energy to put the bed frame together. Like, I was lazy. I did not want to. Um, finally put it together. I actually, I was on live when I put it together. Every time I do furniture, I tend to, like, record it. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I just applied to Amazon to drive and um, I had a felony before I had my son and what I found out is it no longer shows up on background checks so when I put do you have a criminal record I just put telecommunications so I'm hoping that and that's all that came up. They gave me a copy of the background. So I hope I get the job because I'm going to be making $3 more than I was. You said I could check if they have first time home buyer. I'm looking into it. I'm actually on section eight and I'm trying to do their homeowner program where they help you uh, buy a home through section eight. You said it comes in two weeks for you. Yup. I don't even remember when I ordered. I know it was supposed to come between today and the 31st. So I'm going to keep looking out for it. I hate the... I live in a bad neighborhood, so I can't really leave home right now. Never go to HOA. Oh, yeah. I, I know I couldn't handle HOA. I don't even like the idea. Ugh. Don't tell me what to do with my front yard. <laughs> like, that's wild to me. I, I've seen, I think I was watching the other day on TikTok, um, they were in a HOA meeting. <laughs> they did not, they were not happy. I was like, you ain't about to tell me what to do with my house that I bought. The fuck? HOA is only useful if you're honestly like in a bad neighborhood or something. I don't know. I wouldn't even know. You want an RV? Mm -hmm. RV would be cool. I I could do an RV. Like my dream is to have a big home. I don't mind traveling, but I couldn't like do that. Like temporarily to go camping, but Hi, Wisconsin. You have relatives in California. They said last 20 years, they play everything has to be solar powered. Approved by the city council. Do they get a tax, um, a tax rebate there by law for solar? Hmm. Solar power approved by the city, approved by the city council. In Ohio, I think they're about to make a, a solar plant out here, closer to where I live. You got in trouble for building a windmill. Damn. I would have told them it was decoration. I mean, 
you know, it's so crazy to me. Like, you can have a broken down car in the front yard and 18 dogs and a bunch of toddlers running around in their fucking diapers. You can have fucking, like, trash everywhere. And don't get me wrong. I know people get in trouble for that, too. But you can literally live, like a vagabond on your own front yard but the second you make improvements they want hella paperwork right god forbid you put in a koi pond <laughs> or plants that are native that help your yard Hi, baby. You want to sleep with mama? Huh? You got poop? No. What are you? Are you hungry? Raymond, don't close my door. What do you well, want? I'm not gonna do anything. What are you doing? I'm just. Come sleep in mommy bed. Yeah. Okay, don't. Can I sleep in your bed? Yeah. I want to see if your bed's comfy. I'm about to go lay in the bed. You don't like the idea of putting a solar panel on the roof? Yeah, I I don't know much about the construction part. I don't know if you're supposed to have a certain build beforehand. I feel like if you got enough of a backyard, it, why can't... I mean, I know it's solar panel. Oh. Don't scare me. Did you poop? I'm trying to go poop. Can you flush it? Did you poop in your bed? Did you fart? Oh, oh! It's like he fucking crop dusted his room. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, it's normal, but Jesus fuck. Ugh. Dude. Nobody should have shit that stinky. Turn the air conditioner on because what the fuck? Ray, did you poop in your bed? Why does it smell so bad? Oh. I'm reading y'all's comments. Yeah, but I feel like you should be able to, like, put your, um... Oof! My lord. He locked the bathroom door. <laughs> I'm gonna lay on his bed and see how comfy it is. Uh, the, the frame said it holds up to 250 pounds. Okay, I definitely might get him another mattress, because I can, like... I mean, I'm big and... Well... It's not that bad. It's not a jumping bed, that's for sure. I had to let him know. I could sleep in this just fine, though. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Twin beds are short, and I got long legs. <laughs> My feet are, like, over the bed. I'm only 5'4", though. Or am I? I don't know. Hmm. This is what I sprayed in his room. Light a match. <laughs> oh, I don't know the matches. I got cigarettes now. I don't know. This came with the box. It's hard. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I may as well keep it. I gotta get our passports here soon. Smells like pee in here. <coughs> Hold the 
the cat didn't pee back here again. I had to clean up her poop. She's outside right now chilling. And the other cats like feel comfortable over here. So they keep trying to sleep in her bed. She has an outdoor bed. And then I let her sleep in here too. <coughs> I'm going to clean up a little bit. And we have a system that we've developed over the last couple of weeks where I don't want to buy litter. It's bad enough. Cat, cat food's expensive. It's not that bad, but it can be. But I'm, I'm not buying litter. I'm not getting trapped in the litter game. Um, so I make her go outside, pee and poop. And then she comes back, eats, drinks, and sleeps in here. And it works out. I'm just not, I'm not letting her pee and poop in here. Now, if I have to go somewhere real quick and I don't get back in time, she will keep oh! All that just to do that, Brie. Oh my God. Fuck me. I'm trying to clean up her food and then I spilled more food. So I need to find a space where she can definitely eat and it's not like in the path of us walking. This is why I hate having a small fucking apartment. <laughs> like I'm not built for tiny apartments. I need a, a fucking home. I'm so goddamn tired of this shit. Like, everything leaks. Every fucking thing leaks. Mice. Roaches. And for whatever reason, the mice and the roaches have disappeared. And now I have ants. <laughs> and, uh... It, it's just non-stop. I don't have any peace in this bitch. And see, I had fucked around. I fucked around and lost my last apartment. But the person who evicted me, she was a shitty person. She'll evict anybody, so. Um, she wanted people to kiss her ass. I'm not doing that. These women out here are fucking crazy. Like... I'm a girl's girl all day, every day. I'm a people person all day, every day. But some of y'all, not you guys, but people in general, man, they're fucking sick. For those of you that were around um, when I was getting evicted, you already know what I went through. Um, I didn't share a lot of it because I was like emotionally fucked at that point. And I didn't want a lot of criticism because, but like, I really, <laughs> true. Honestly, I, I'm not gonna lie. I could see myself using every room, but that's me. Everybody's different. So I understand where you're coming from. Cause I used to be like, yeah, I want a mansion. And I was like, whoa, who the fuck is going to clean that? <laughs> But I, I feel like I could handle a house. The, the space I'm in now, I'm a big girl. I take wide steps. I'm always fucking up my toes. I have a lot of clothing. I have a lot of creativity and stuff that I want to do that a big home could accompany. Uh, a, um, a big home could... I don't know what the fuck a word is. Hey, let's go. Wipe your butt and let's go. Flush the toilet. I don't want to smell anything. You have to pee? No, I need you to get the hell out of my bathroom. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, um, Niasia Bredesen of Reynoldsburg, Ohio. <laughs> it was not hard to find her address either. Um, fucking evil bitch. And, like, nobody's done anything about her. Like, CMHA... Um, the housing authority people, nobody. Like, her and the janitor were, like, doing illegal shit. Ray, let's go. Wipe your booty, let's go. I'm about to throw up. Like, it's bad enough my bathroom fucking stinks, but, like, their apartment upstairs leaks into my bathroom, and it just smells like ass. Ooh. I want to build a house. I used to draw plans for my dream home. You know, like where I'd put the rooms. I like the idea of having a loft over 
the living room. Like, big, open, airy. Come on, Ray! I like the idea of a porch, a balcony, a big backyard. Wipe and wash your hands. I'm not being mean. I'm going to throw up. I need you in bed. Oh, my God. <sighs> like, having a kid, I love him to pieces. I really do. I'll do anything for him, but he stresses me out. It's like, I know he's only eight, and he'll get it together. But, like... Raymond, you have flushed three times. Wipe your butt and get out. Stop. Why are you wet? I'm not wet. Did you wipe? Yeah, I wiped two times. Go get in the shower or something, please. It smells horrible, please. I can't. Ay, ay, ay. He just stands there like he, he can't like continue whatever the fuck he started. Wash your body. Right. <laughs> now he's complaining about me. <laughs> He's like, why does she act so mad? Because I'm fucking throwing up in my mouth, Ray. Your ass stinks. Ugh. Ugh. There's paper everywhere. Like, he comes home and he just destroys my house. Whatever, I got time to clean. I don't know why I'm complaining. That shit hurt my stomach, though. Like, goddamn. I have a sensitive nose anyways, so any any foul-smelling anything, I want to vomit. Like I'm constantly showering to make sure I don't stink, washing things, disinfecting things. I like clean, I like good smells. Oof. I can't do B.O., any kind of B.O., head to toe. I like, I can't, I don't know. What? And you know what's funny? We have an exhaust fan that I have no control over. I can't turn it on or off. It doesn't do anything. I cleaned it when I first got here and like it just stays dusty. Like I can't take smells though. I can't handle I don't know if I'm just like special or something. I can't because I can smell everything. I have a dog nose. And I try to teach him good hygiene because there's a lot of parents out here who won't teach their kid how to clean themselves, like how to wash their body and, and stay healthy. And he has bad habits. Like he used to stick his fucking feet and his fucking hands in his mouth and then throw up. And I'd be like, oh, I wonder why. Like when, like, and I'm teaching him how to not do that. Soap and water. Since he was very little, cover your mouth. I mean, he's a COVID baby. He was three when COVID started. He knows what coronavirus is. <clears throat> he knows what the cold is. He's, he's not stupid. <laughs> like He's not ignorant. He's eight, but he's not, he's seven. But he's been knowing this stuff. And I've always instilled in him, like, clean your body well. I don't know, especially now because we don't have insurance. I can't take him to the doctor without getting some kind of debt. So preventative medicine for us right now. This is his multivitamin. This is my multivitamin. And then, of course, we've got dandelion. We're going to turn that into a tea because it's almost... Um, allergy season and these are dandelion leaves that I put in tea for um, more healing. I also use the dandelion root. I do honey, turmeric, pepper, pepper in the turmeric, antioxidant. I drink fruit juice. I try to eat as many vegetables as I can. I'm, I haven't been eating healthy lately but um 
I have to eat to be well. So I'm gonna really work on that. Just want him to get out the shower though. I don't mean to yell at him either. Honey, are you done? Is your butt clean? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get out. Did you wipe your butt? Don't lie. Did you? That's not how you clean it. You know how to clean your butt. Did you? Uh, hurry up, Ray. Turmeric tea. I just want him to be okay if I die, <laughs> like my mom says. <clears throat> Let's go. It's bedtime. It's past 10 30. I'm getting angry. Let's go. It's, re it's really bedtime. Please go to your bed. Okay. Dry off first. Don't get in the bed wet. Put on your PJs. You make mommy's life hard. Don't get in your bed yet. Right. Tomorrow you're going to listen to me. You're going to get ready on time. You're going to be quick. You're not going to sit there and play all your games and watch TV and cry about everything. You're going to get ready. Yes. Yes what? Yes what? Okay. Thank you. I'm not playing with you tomorrow. No more drawing. That's a good picture. I like that picture, but you're, it's time for bed. Dry your butthole. Ugh. I'm all right. Hi, Rebecca. And I'm going to be honest with you. Like, people are like, oh, I don't get how women can handle this, that, and the like. Like, we don't want to. Like, I'll be the first one to tell you I didn't want to be the kind of mom to, like, I was not, how do I put this? I hated changing diapers. Like, anything that came out of him smelled foul to me. Pee, poop, all of it. Like, it was disgusting. But I'm the main parent, so... Ray, I'm not talking to you. Honey. All right, just get into bed like that. Why does it sound like it's a quake? Because, be quiet. Stop doing shit in your bed. What? Raymond, I'm, I'm about to lose my fucking mind. Go to bed. Boy, please. Good night. I love you. Be good. Give me that piece of paper. Why? It's not piece of paper. Stop it. I turn around for five seconds. He has a new thing in his hand. How am I feeling today? I don't know. I was cool. I think. I don't know. I took like two naps because I was waiting for this fucking bed to come. And then the neighbors. <laughs> like, it's, it's so fucking ghetto over here, y'all. Like, she parked on the grass in front of the front fucking door for whatever reason. And mind you, I don't know how many kids my neighbor has, but this dude has always like got girls with different kids over. And all the women look alike. They're like kind of like stocky white girls, like with the up buns. Uh what? Aiden Gaming, what? First of all, nobody likes to change a shitty diaper. Nobody. Ever. Anywhere. Taking care of kids does not mean enjoying the nasty parts of taking care of kids. 
So yeah, that's disgusting no matter who it's for. It sucks. Do you want to change a uh, diaper? Do you want to wipe an ass? <laughs> I don't. It's gross. Oh, Where are my cigarettes? Oh, happy birthday to him. Rebecca, I remember you. You were on my old channel, weren't you? I remember you, Rebecca. I remember you before I lost my old channel. Or maybe you just joined this one. I don't know, but I remember you from a while ago. It's nice to see you again. I feel sick. <laughs> I think my blood sugar is high. I'm just not feeling well. I haven't been taking care of myself, so we'll get there. I'm going to, until I start working, I'm going to try and lose some weight. I gotta lose like 10 pounds, y'all. But I'm not going to talk about weight much because I told myself I was not going to. My channel. What do you have? Nothing. What do you have? You have nothing. I don't have the switch. Raymond. I really don't. You, I, I know, but the paper, the paper. Go to bed. But Lay down. You got a fresh new bed that smells like Gain and Febreze. I'd be knocked out. What's my paper toy? Go to bed. Mommy is about to throw up. I don't know why, but I am. I really am. So let's be good so Mommy doesn't die. Thank you. Good night, my love. You're precious. Okay, now my ears are ringing. Mommy needs to lie down for like five minutes. Ooh. Your grandma's birthday, she's 80 today. That's fantastic. So your son turned 18 and your grandma turned 80. Wow. Three generations. That's a blessing. All right, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm gonna smoke. I do not feel well at all. You know, I really, I, I try not to take it personally, but when people criticize me about my parenting, which I guess they're privy to do, everyone has different standards. And I'm not saying you should compare me to the worst case scenario, but it's like Ruby Frank. <laughs> like, I feed my child. Hi, Annie Roth. Long time no see. I'll get better. I think I'm just being... Hi, I'm live live. Yeah. I look pretty. Thank you. I'm just kind of wearing this. You said if you light that cig up and do it, calling CPS. <laughs> I mean, that's your prerogative, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> do you also call the police on people who do like worse drugs than cigarettes because let me let me inform you my friend there are people out here drinking in their homes smoking crack her on that guy thinks i'm a terrible person because i was saying that like i have a sensitive nose and even though i enjoy being a parent okay eugenia Okay, Chip. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill Raymond with secondhand smoke. I have an air purifier in here. His door is closed. I'm not blowing it into his nostrils. <laughs> oh my God. Please, please. And I'm not going outside. I live in the hood. Bye, Aiden. <laughs> Y'all remember that one time I was live a hundred years ago and I don't even remember what she was saying, but I was like, bye Carol or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's sick. <laughs> Were you the same one that called on me and said I had roaches and mice? You manifested that, you fucker. <laughs> I'm gonna call CPS on you. <laughs> 
for manifesting that for me. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh my God. What does tonight become? Anyways, for those of you that just shut up, Carol, that's what it was. <laughs> shut up, Carol. Shut up, Aiden. <laughs> you. <laughs> Not you, Carol Ann. I think it was a different, I hope it was a different Carol. I really hope, because I feel like Carol Ann, you're a little newer. I think you've been, I, Carol Ann, how long have you been watching me? Oh boy. <laughs> Fucking messy, man. Yeah, damn. <laughs> There's always one. There's always one. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh. Uh. Anyways, for those of you that just got in, um, I started the stream off. I was just finishing Raymond's new bed. If you want to see it. I'll just show you. He's in it now, so he's kind of just chilling. Raymond is like a pre-game sleeper. Like, he has to, like, wind down, so. Ray, I'm showing them your... Get under the cover. Get under the cover. I can't show you in your undies. Cover your whole body. Pretend you're asleep so I can show them. Okay. So this is his bed that I just made. It all came in. And this is it. Sorry, it's dark, but it's it's not tall. My mom was like, it looks like it's low to the ground. It is. Um, it's a very short platform bed. Okay, made it. That's crazy. Um, this is his bedding. And the and mattress, I think, is six inches. So we might get that later. My mom was saying, you like it? Here, let me turn on the light. Right, lay back down. I can't see your nipples. Cover your nip-nips. Cover your nipples. Good job. Oh, you're such a good actor for sleeping. Oh, he looks like he's like drowning in that bed. It's so big. Damn, Ray. <laughs> he's excited. You like your bed? Yeah. So I'm happy about it. I'm glad everything came in. The only package I'm waiting for now is Timu. Yeah, I like the bed too. Like it looks good when you come in here and it fits perfectly. And if I want to turn it around, I can. But the whole theme goes together. You know, he got his little Mario stuff now. And so I'm happy about it. And no more toddler bed. Look, that was the toddler bed. And I got kind of the same style, except it's the slats are different. I just hope he doesn't like put his head in there or something. You know, I think he'll be fine. I don't know. I'll watch him. Um, God forbid. <laughs> fire department or take that thing apart um his head's kind of big i don't think it'll fit through there oh well i donate the toddler bed i was trying to sell it i'll probably donate it but the problem is he broke two well i broke one slat he broke another jumping on it i told him don't trouble this fucking bed um because platform beds are not sturdy like you think they are they're really like not uh <laughs> mine is because i have a full size heavy duty bed but that bed is like one step up from that and you can see where the slats are missing right candy cookies <laughs> no because girl he came in here like if you don't like you can scroll up and see but if you don't like taking care of kids and changing their diapers you should have closed your leg <laughs> He said, if you don't like taking care of kids, you should probably not spread those hips, young lady. Accountability is a real thing. Like, what? And then he said, if you like that sig up indoors, I'm calling CPS. <laughs> I all I said was I don't like changing diapers. He's like, if you don't <laughs> I hate changing diapers, they stink. Well you shouldn't have spread your fucking hips. <laughs> I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> Oh my god. 
And I, so I started explaining like, you know, I'm not the best parent. I'm not the worst parent, but like, there's people out here like Ruby Frank, <laughs> eight passengers, you know what I'm saying? Or even the time somebody said, what, somebody called me like Casey Anthony one time. I'm like, can we be fucking for real? Raymond is healthy and happy. He has two parents who love him, who he sees. He goes to school. He's well fed. He, I have vitamins for him. I've got milk. He's safe. No, first of all, changing diapers for anyone is fucking disgusting, whether they be old or young or a dog or a cat or a baby. Like, it's nasty. It's poop. Okay, so Ruby Frank, I I was I didn't originally watch their channel. I'm I'm not a big family channel, but like the more shit I hear about this situation, it was bad. And people were saying, I don't, I don't understand. Lately, all these child abuse cases are really getting like it's to the point where my mom was calling and she was like. I just want to hear Raymond's voice because there was a girl in Cleveland left her 16 month old to die. She went on vacation and she had another kid and family. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> I think, no, it's, it, he's probably a misogynist. He probably thinks women are supposed to be a certain way and we're not like we're human. I think people still have it in their heads that women are equipped to do all this stuff with regards to being a mother. And the truth is we are not, but that doesn't mean we're bad people or that we can't like you could ask anybody in the medical community. I was on a Reddit where, why do you have tape? Go to bed. So you can do stuff. That's not sleeping. I know. Um, okay. Okay. Right. The doggers are strange family too. The Dugers, mm -hmm. yeah, and you and you see more shit comes out about them every damn day. Like I love Raymond, he's my baby, but there's no but. But I'm I'm human. I don't like changing diapers. Like when he stopped needing pull ups, I was, <laughs> which was recently. And for whatever reason, society doesn't tell, like, society always wants to put, like, timelines for kids. No. Like, they can't always. Every kid is different. Some kids don't talk till they're four. Some kids piss the bed till they're seven. Some kids don't hit puberty till later or earlier. Some kids can't read. Some kids can't write. You just got to do what you can for whatever obstacles you have for that specific kid. Can't lump them all together. Yeah. That's kind of like the abortion people. Come to find out, a lot of these anti abortion people had abortions. They were just feeling guilty, I guess. Because I just learned about this um, back in the 80s. They found <laughs> 17,000 dead baby parts, fetuses. I was like, 17,000? God damn, it was huge. It was huge news back then, but I guess I had never heard of it. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, they were being disposed of. And you have to think about what 17,000 really represents. That's a whole town. That's a small town somewhere or a big town. I don't know. But 17,000 bodies, like, that's a lot of abortions. That's a lot of abortions. I'm not anti-abortion. I'm pro-choice. Nobody should force you to have an abortion. But let's be honest, our parents' generation, they functioned a little differently. Mm-hmm. I feel like you want to keep your baby, keep your baby. Try to get help. I think the cat's at the window. If you don't want your baby, do what you got to do. I wasn't born yet. No. In fact, I, in a related story, I'm the first 
born of my father that got kept. The way my mom told it was he was getting all these women pregnant and he would tell them to get abortions and they did. And I was the first one that didn't get aborted. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Mind you, he conceived me at 19. Like, nigga. And he was in the Air Force. So I don't know if he went to the Air Force right out of high school. But I look young. I'm 32. I was born in 92. Bruh, both my parents, like, I love them, but I don't like them as people. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, they're perfect because they're my parents. No, they're, <laughs> first of all, my mom, I don't know, she's kind of funny anyways, but she was 10 years older than my dad. So imagine being 19 and a whore and my mom's like 29. She claims that he lied about his age and he probably did. And then <laughs> I come out. And then he's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go marry the next woman I meet. So he, do I get along with my mom more or my dad? Well, my mother raised me and she put me through hell. She was abusive in a lot of different ways that messed me up psychologically. She put me through a residential treatment center, therapist, medication, physical abuse, emotional abuse, psychological abuse. Denied some of my health problems. Did not help me with my other health problems. Was invasive. I don't know. Kicked me out when I was 18 after I left foster care. Lied about having money for me for college. Enabled my sister, which eventually led to her death. Pitted me against my sister. Call the police on me. So for the last seven years, I haven't been able to get a normal fucking job outside of fast food. But she's done good things too. But it, and then she's not well in the head. So it's like I don't blame her, but also it's hard because I've had to come to terms with she cannot be fixed. I don't 100% forgive her, but I can't, like, keep bringing it up. It was harder when I was younger. Now I'm in my 30s. I'm like, fuck it. I got to do me. I got to live my life and find the good that, that – find things I enjoy so I don't fucking <laughs> – Like, and that took a lot of growth. Like, if you've been watching me for a while, it took a lot for me to get to that point. Um – what can you do? My dad, I don't talk to. I lived with him at one point after high school. And just didn't work out. And now he's with his like 18th wife and they live in London. <laughs> Aiden's probably calling CPS right now. <laughs> She's smoking in her apartment. Wait till you find out that's not illegal. Because it's quite literally not illegal. Our grandmother smoked while pregnant with our parents. Like, not trying to minimize it, but we're okay. I promise. I should have been like, it's a vape. <laughs> it's medicinal. If I was smoking weed, you wouldn't give a fuck. That, that's the double standard. I don't understand. Y'all are so fine with weed. Not y'all specifically, but like society's like, yeah, weed's okay. But I can't smoke tobacco. What if I was Native American and that was part of my ritual? Tobacco was sacred to the Native Americans. Still is probably, I don't know. I, I wish a wish a wish go -wah. What if I was smoking a wish go wish go wish go woo? What if... <laughs> What if that was a clove cigarette? What if I was smoking Thanksgiving seasonings? I mean, what if I was smoking oregano and parsley? What if I was smoking grass clippings? There's people on TikTok who are literally eating 
cornstarch and you're not concerned about them. <laughs> Have you guys ever watched My Strange Addictions? I tried to get into it out of board. I, I throw on anything when I'm like trying to clean the house. It helps me clean. Like if I have eight baskets of laundry, we're going to watch Hoarders or My 600 Pound Life or any, any, any weird TLC show. Um, I do miss the older TLC show. They need to bring back, well, maybe I should get, no, I'm not getting cable. Fuck that. It's just hard to find anything to watch anymore. Also, smoking for some people is harm reduction. Like, if I didn't smoke cigarettes, I might just jump. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't. I'm not. But, mm. oh. mm -mm. I like your little emoticons. Those are cute, Annie. How do I do that? I want to do that. I feel like I'm about to drool. Wait, you got a new grandbaby today, um, Rebecca? I just missed your comment. There was a lot going on. My bad. I use the ones on the chat. Oh. How do I do that? I can't talk in here. <laughs> It's the fact that he's probably recording this whole lot. <laughs> like, I have evidence. Ah. My bad. Well, if you're going to get me, you better get all my neighbors, too, because they smoke in the house, and they have 48 kids. <laughs> they smoke in the building. Wait till you find out that people in other countries still smoke in their apartments. Italians. Middle Eastern people, Chinese people, Africans. You better call CPS on the whole fucking world. <clears throat> I need to go to bed, though. It's been an hour. Well, thank you for joining my live. It's a full moon. That's probably why people just out. The participants left. You probably hacked them. <laughs> I I don't know. People just kill me with that. Like, I'm like, have you watched me before? You've, these have got to be sock puppet accounts. Like, my bonbons. Let's be fucking real. These are the same, like, five people with a million and one accounts. They have to be. They have to be. Because they all say the same thing. And I've brought this up for years. Like, they are relentless. But why? Didn't Gen X run again? <laughs> Probably. Man, he ain't got shit else to do. Not a fucking thing. That or it's Chip or Deb. <laughs> uh. Okay, so am I supposed to brush the cat's mouth? Because her mouth smell like, ugh. I didn't brush the other cat's mouth that I used to own, but I'm about to get her like cat cat breath mints or something because it really doesn't matter, I don't think. The cat. Um, I don't, I know people brush their dog mouth, but like, I don't know. This one TikToker said she kissed her cat and it gave her a parasite. Like, can that really happen? Or was she being funny? I feel like you would know you swallowed a parasite from your cat. Like, that's why I make her poop outside though, because, um, the last cat I had that was a queen, she had like three kittens. She pooped out a worm one time. Like, I swear to God, it was a big white worm. I'll never forget that shit. That scared the fuck out of me. I do have Instagram. Um, what's OPP? Are you saying oop 
or are you, are you calling me an op? <laughs> Am I the enemy? Oh no, I'm not your enemy. I promise. <clears throat> the one. I don't have any of my social media linked anymore. This is my second YouTube. Well, it's my third YouTube channel. <sighs> Mm -mm -mm. Hmm? Oh, you're saying oop. Oops. Okay, cool. And I oop. <laughs> I need to clean the house tomorrow and then I'm going to the gym. I gotta get healthy. Belly Joy Lifts. Bella Joy Lifts. Okay. Is that, a, what's her channel about? Okay. I will look into that. Thanks for sharing. I'll go look. I'll be honest. My Instagram is weird. Like, I don't know. I don't remember what it felt like to use. Oh, weightlifting. Okay. Yeah. I need to. When I stop working, my muscle strength goes down. Y'all, when I interviewed at Amazon, their break room... I wanted to cry. They have a Pac-Man machine and they have a um, foosball. No. Table tennis. They have a table tennis. They have food galore. TV. Like it's the, it's the break roomest break room you ever break roomed in your life. <clears throat> like I was like, if they don't hire me, please hire me. Really? I'm, I'm, I don't know what I can record, but one day I'm a, yeah, I did onboarding the next day. So, and it's $3 more than what I was making as a manager at Taco Bell. Right, right, right. And I forgot to tell y'all. Oh, I feel sick. Okay. Okay. I used to not be able to pass, oh, the robots. Oh, she works at Amazon, Amazon. Okay. So like I would just be delivering crap. I would be picking up packages and delivering them in a car, a, a blue van with a smiley face, with the arrow. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Why are my cheeks so red? Are you okay? I look like I took a B vitamin. Ooh. Um... So yeah, I hope it works out. I really do. Yeah. I want more money and I want to buy a house and I want to buy a car and I want to, how do they, how do they do that thing on, I will tell you how it goes. I'm excited. And if it doesn't work out, I'll find something else. But basically my felony no longer shows up on background checks. Just my misdemeanor. Why they call you Dixon Mayes. I don't know. But it's been a long time coming. I Every job I've applied to since I got out of jail. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my God. Um, I think they just had a, a translation issue, Annie. But that's fine. You do what you do. That's why I make everybody a moderator. <laughs> Oh, oh, my tummy. Ow. Ow. Okay, I gotta go to bed. I feel violently ill. Um, I don't know why. Oh my god. Raymond's still up. You went to jail? Yeah, I went to jail. Because of my mom. Your room smells good, Raymond. Can you not cut up? I don't want scissors in your bed. I feel like that's dangerous. Yeah, it is. Because you can roll over and die. No. You can't have this in your bed either. That's sharp. Wait, you can't have sharp things in your bed. You know why? Because you'll die. Get that paper out your bed. Raymond, enough of the coloring, honey. I just Look at him. Look at this child. But that's my favorite thing to do. I know. But can you sleep and dream about coloring? Because well, I've literally I picked up paper out of your bed 15 times. Look, look at this. Raymond, 
You're breaking my Oh my, like, I'm so, I'm putting it right here. I'm putting it right here. I'm sorry. You're oh my God. Those were your paper toys? Can we, can we, can we, um, why don't I get you a portfolio? They're my actual toys. Oh, you make paper toys. Yeah, and I play with them. Oh. I used, I, I color them and cut them and glue them. Oh. And the forgotten ones, I just sometimes keep. Keep them or even place them. Somewhere. Okay, I know, baby. But you know what? It's late and you got to sleep or you won't have energy for tomorrow. Okay. Mm. Can I rub your back? You want lotion? I love you. Please sleep in your bed all night. I want to make sure it's comfortable. Right, man. You have to go. It's 11. Wait. It's 10.56 p.m. and a half o'clock. It is. Look at my... Look. 10.56 a.m. o'clock oh, 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 10 to the 5th power of 8. I do not see that. You, 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 you. I'm just trying to add the, the blaster. You're making a, a blaster? Mm -hmm. Can you make it tomorrow in the morning after you get dressed? I already did! Oh, you yelling at me now. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I'm going to go to bed. No, I'm, uh, it's going to be I believe you, but can you go to bed? Okay. I'm going to bed with my toy. And don't take your phone. I didn't. I put them all over there. I love you. Lay down. Oh my god. <laughs> ground him. I'm not gonna ground him. He's eight or seven. I be forgetting how old he is. Seven. Okay. Good night, big boy with your big boy bed. I love your bed. It's so cool. I wish I had a Mario bed. And Mario slip y'all look. He yelled at you. <laughs> Oh I'm sorry, Raymond. That's, that's why I said go to bed. Mommy don't feel well. Look, I bought these for him at Burlington. He's got that, that. Like, his whole room is Mario. Like, I decked him out. No, it's, it's not just Mario. I know. It's cool. Toys. I know. It's cool stuff, too. Like, paper Among toys. Us, uh, Minecraft. You got the toys. TV, the computer. Yeah. He's spoiled. He got a chair, two toy boxes. He got an Ultimate Garage and a Thomas train set. And hella books. Look at all them damn books. And, those, those. and the uh, cars thingies. And all those. All ones. those. Yep, you spoiled. Look and at those. his shoes. And those, and those, and those. And the coloring stuff. I know. You are so loved. So go to bed. Please. Uh, I love you. I know, baby. Go to bed. I love you. Sweet dreams, little baby. You just got a broken doll. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? If you're over 18 and you got a job, you could get all the things you never got to get before. That's what I do. You want to see my Barbie I bought? Oh. I think millennials and boomers, I think we all had rough childhoods, kind of, but you can make it up by buying yourself your own toys. I bought her this outfit, too. Isn't it cute? She had another outfit she came with, but I bought her this one. This is Tina or Trina. I don't remember what I named her. But I thought she was pretty. She has freckles. And her hair is really cute and kinky. She has a necklace. Actually, that might have came with the outfit. But um, them boots is cute too. Slay. I know. <laughs> I don't really play with her. I do want to get her a dollhouse and a car. You know, sometimes I live vicariously through my toys and my Sims. I play Sims, but not like on a PC or nothing. But, um, you know, it's hard to afford. I need water. I like to live vicariously through uh, toys. Because it makes me feel better. I like toys. Raymond's got lots of toys, so I said, Mommy's gonna buy her toys. And my mom, she's been buying a lot of toys. Send it to me. What do you want me to send to you? I just, you know what I want? I just want the world to be more whimsical. I want... <clears throat> he got this at um, Ross Dress for Less. And it works. <laughs> it really does dispense them. The doll. Oh, yeah, she was $6. And um, with this doll, 
they don't make Barbies the same. Let me just start there. <clears throat> Barbies, when I was a kid, were rubbery. These are all plastic. They're, like, honestly kind of cheap. Like, they're Barbie brand. They're official. I think this is, like, hold on. She's from 2011, though. So perhaps that's why she's so cheap. Um... I don't know what the current Barbies are anymore. Like her face, you know, they squish. Um, the hair is really nice. But like 2011, I was like 18, 19. Her lips are pretty. What color are your eyes? Or a hazel. I like her lipstick. I can see it better on the camera. I have really bad eyesight. Probably the diabetes. And like my, <clears throat> my bedroom's really dark. Were the eyes always stickered? I don't know. I feel like... And that's what I don't like, is that, like, if I wanted to, I could probably take acetone and erase her whole face. And then... They're very plastic. Like, her arms don't bend, like the other ones when we were kids. Um, I think there's just different levels of Barbie at this point. They're not all uniform from different eras but this is a 2011 barbie that's probably why she was so cheap they had like a bunch of them but i feel like you can still get her at the store um because the other ones this looks like an interrogation light <laughs> look how pretty those are that's really their color you had a nightmare when you were a kid about barbie Barbie doesn't freak me out, but when I was a kid, uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy did. And I had a shelf, like, like on the wall, and my mom put my toys up, and I did not like that bitch. Like, they're not scary as an adult, but, like, them triangle-ass eyes. Wait, you... You got a doll right then. You went to bed. You woke up with her knife in her hand. Uh, oh. Oh, my God. I've never died in a dream, but I've fallen. And, um. Hmm. Wait, what? Are you scared of Barbie? I don't know. Dreams can be weird. I have a lot of weird dreams. I hope he's asleep. Why does it say you can twist this? What did you twist it for? Okay. Have a good night, Annie. Thanks for joining us. I'll probably go live later this week. I don't know when. But, um... Which ugly dolls? Some dolls can be ugly. I think they're just... It's their design. Don't mind my ugly hand. Yeah, they're jelly belly. Jelly. Wait, is that what they're called? Yeah. Oh, I dropped one. I can't find it. What's up, dude? <laughs> Hi, y'all. So, I lost the jelly bean. I'm trying to show you the pretty one. Where did it go? It. Oh. Okay. I don't know what the flavors were. It didn't really have a label. Nice finished. Okay. Type put it here and I'll show them. Then. Raymond, go put on clothes. You're I naked. Mommy got you new outfit for for night night. What is this, Raymond? Upgraded Titan Cameraman. Uh, updated Titan Cameraman. No, no, it's upgraded, not updated. That's what I said. You said updated, not upgraded. Okay. What does it do? It 
uses its AOE cannon and uses its hammer. Okay. How do I play with it? You just... Pew, pew, I smell pew, poop. Pew, pew, pew. I smell That's poop. Why do I smell poop? That's how. Okay. And it has a laser core. This is the center of its laser core. They taste so bad. They taste good to me. But I'm old. <laughs> they taste so bad. Mm. Every flavor tastes bad except for like a yellow one. I'll never buy them again. Okay. At least, at least Ray, a little, a Ray you have to put something on. Pants or a shirt. One or the other. You can't be out here booty butt naked. You can't be out here. You can't be booty butt naked. You can't be out here. Uh, na na uh, naked booty butt. Uh, shoeless. I'm in bed. Well, you. I can't wear shoes in the bed. I'll go. I'll be grounded by grandma. Well, uh, you can't. Walk around with your feet with uh no slippers. <laughs> I got a slipper right there. <laughs> I'm wearing slippers. Can you b go put on a shirt for mommy? A night night shirt. Oh my God. Raymond, you're grounded. Whoop your ass. I had a bunch of them for you here. Look. Okay. Put it on correctly. Don't just snatch it from me. Can you please go to... I'm helping you. Wait. Come here. I don't need help. Pull it on. I'm about to be eight. I don't need help. Okay. Your head... No, 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 no. Thank you. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't need Booty help. butt naked. I'm about mm -hmm. to be eight. You're about to be eight? I am 16, going on 17, something, something, words and stuff. You know, I've never seen The Sound of Music. Mm. Good night, baby. What is my favorite song? Re uh, what, what is your favorite song? I don't know. Uh, you don't want to do ASMR? Dog Day. How does it go? Dog Day song. Sing me a song from school. No! Alright, good night. Cocoa melon. <laughs> hmm. He used to watch that. Sorry. I can't, um... Raymond! Oh, you gave me a hug. Good night, baby. Mm, my baby. I love you. Go to bed. Your hair smells like daddy's house. Quit! You're knocking stuff over, Ray. Oh my god. I'm sleepwalking. Sleepwalk your ass to bed. Good night. I'm sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll be so tired again. <laughs> <laughs> if he opened my door one more again <laughs> oh my god my back my back fat is cold hi <laughs> we're from Ohio <laughs> <laughs> he gonna get up eight more times and fall asleep in my bed after I done paid $287 for all his new bedding. <laughs> I'm tired, man. <laughs> to <my> mom. <laughs> oh, my back. <laughs> He's still up. Baby. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just predicted that. Come on. How? Cuz, I don't know. Maybe it's because you always do that. I don't know. I'm, I'm psychic. Come on. How are you psychic? I'm psycho. You got me psycho. Come on. You're psychic. Yeah. Come on, baby. Cool. Bedtime, please. Yeah. You got $287 worth of sleep in your room, but you won't be in here. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Which is four hundred and fifty two dollars worth. Okay, I need you to sleep, please. Uh -huh. Good night, sweetheart. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get going. It's I'm gonna late. get watching. I gotta. No, no, no. You need to go to bed, honey. All right. I'm sorry to get going, but it's. Been, I know. I know. But I gotta get up early to get him up early. Ow. And like. You okay? Raymond. It hurts. Your belly? Did you do you have to poop again? Uh it always hurts. Uh. <laughs> That's the sound I make. That's the sound mm -hmm. you make. I know. Mommy hurts when too. Hurt, when it hurts. We need to start taking fiber or something. I took my vitamin too. When? At Daddy's house? Good job. Did you brush your teeth good? Yeah. Don't lie to me. Yeah. Mm. Dog day. Dog day. Dog days over. All right, no, I'll get no, going no. now. Bye. No, no. I'll be back. Be sure to like, no, subscribe, no. and turn on your no, notifications. No, I'll be here is. eventually. I don't, Raymond. I don't want to know. I want to go to bed. All right. You goodbye. Want to know who this is?